In the last video, we saw factors in action where we compared pairs of stocks head to head based on different factors. We use real life examples to understand how factors help in stock selection. But you do not make money just by picking stocks, right? You make money by building a portfolio, which is a group of stocks that complement each other to give sustained returns. Portfolio building is a super set of stock picking and that is what we will be discussing today. Let us get into the practicality of building a portfolio. So let us take an imaginary portfolio of real stocks. We will look at a 10 stock model portfolio. This portfolio consists of 10 stocks picked from different sectors across market cap categories, making it a very well diversified portfolio. What makes these stocks exciting is that they are top notch monopoly stocks in their respective industries and are pretty well known amongst investors. Being one of the largest players amongst respective peers, this looks like a stock portfolio that can probably do well. But here is a hidden risk that people end up ignoring that only factor analysis can tell us. Let me show you. As is visible, all these stocks have very high quality scores but very poor scores on other factors. Because all the stocks in your portfolio have high quality scores, your portfolio becomes a quality heavy portfolio. This is not bad but it can be problematic if the quality factor goes out of favour. What does going out of favour mean? Quality stocks start underperforming as we had briefly seen during the post-Covid period. Each factor plays a role in your portfolio and having a balanced exposure to all of them is very crucial to building a resilient portfolio. If done correctly, it wouldn't matter how many stocks you own, what sectors they belong to or even what market cap they have. Ignoring the risk of factor exposure could be a reason why your portfolio delivers undesired returns. Now let us take another portfolio as an example. But this time we will consider factors in addition to the sectors and market cap. We will add stocks in our portfolio that perform well across all factors. This way we have all guns firing in our favour in making a truly strong investment portfolio. And this is what we get. A portfolio that is a good mix of large, mid and small cap along with stocks across sectors. Additionally, all the stocks have above average scores on all the factors like momentum, value, quality, low volatility. This assures us that we will not be impacted should any one factor start underperforming during a period. Now which portfolio would you prefer, former or the latter? Obviously the latter, right? And how do you construct such a portfolio? By putting the investment universe through a factor analysis filter. We have made it very easy to do this on the Share.Market app. This is a robust strategy that large investment management firms globally use for themselves. They all have built factor models for their clients and billions of dollars are invested betting on these strategies. And we at Share.Market have made it accessible and easily consumable for you. In a bid to democratize this piece of technology for the masses, we remain India's first and only discount broker to introduce stock research using factor analysis at the retail level. Whether you remain a do-it-yourself investor who loves picking stocks and doing their own research or a beginner who needs ready-to-invest pre-made portfolios, our platform offers everything you need to get started in your journey of factor investing. Now I hope through this video series you have gotten an understanding of factor analysis and how it can help you in making a better investment decision. If you have missed the first two episodes, do check them out as well.